Today we're talking Japanese exclusive promos. What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we're going to be talking about a contentious topic that is Japanese exclusive promos. Before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everyone that supported the channel.、Uh, we did cross that 500 sub mark, and、uh, yeah, I'm super grateful to everyone. I can't believe we managed to break that threshold, and I'm super excited for the future. And、um, yeah, because Hidden Bait's coming right around the corner, of course, we're doing a giveaway for one of the pin collection boxes. And so, check out our video from Sunday.、Uh, it says something like giveaway start or go. Um, so, it should be pretty easy to find it by the title. And make sure you do enter in that giveaway.、Uh, all you have to do is be a sub, hit that like button, and、uh, leave a comment with the keyword, which is turtle. So, if you're not already entered, make sure you go do that. But、um, yeah, let's get back to the topic at hand the Japanese exclusive promos. And I want to talk about、uh, I feel like there's a lot of negativity around it, and I don't really want to take one side or the other, but I kind of want to just talk about. How it impacts myself as a collector, and kind of how it gives me a reason to collect Japanese cards where otherwise I would not have. But let's add some context first. We're going to, as always, PokeBeach.com, a post by Water Pokemon Master a few days ago. And that is talking about the new Master Battle Set that will be released in Japan. And this thing is expensive 13,200 yen, is about $124 US. That is Pretty expensive, and let's go. I mean, in, in the English, like there are some of those premium, super premium hundred dollar boxes, but this one's even more. And let's go, there's no packs in this thing. Let's take a look. It has a lot of accessories. You got an interesting game board. Someone in the comment pointed out this thing says trash instead of discard pile. That, that's pretty funny.、Um, I, these materials do look pretty good, but、uh, obviously, I can't confirm. But a really nice deck box or a kind of like storage box. Um, and then the deck box. I'm guessing this is this one is for these dice, which are pretty cool. You got a bunch of those. A GX marker,、uh, some cool sleeves, a bunch of coins. Is that it looks like a pen, which feels kind of random.、Um, and then and then these two promos. And I think the two promos is like the real thing that you're actually buying. And so, like for this price point, that's crazy.、Um, but let's hit the promos real quick. So, this is another one of the Battle Pikachus, where it usually has Pikachu. He I think he always has 60 HP. We're going to talk about some of the previous ones as well.、Uh, and I think I found them all, and that's because I checked they all had 60 HP. But this one's really cool. It has Tapu Lele back there, Buzzwall, and Zekrom.、Um, uh, this, is, this is very much spec like. What are the chances this means that there would be a Tapu Lele Buzzwall tag team? Just because you got Pikachu and Zekrom. Maybe I'm reading into it. That, that combo sounds very strange, to be honest. But、um, very cool looking promo right there. And then the Alolan Friends. You got, let's see if I can name all these Mallow, Lana,、um, Gladian, Hao, and Lily. But a、uh, very cool card. I don't think any of them are very good when it comes to meta, so that's like, this is not what this is about. This thing is, in, in my opinion, entirely a collectible.、Um, and so let's talk a little bit about, you know, why, how it affects myself as a collector. And for me, it kind of gives, again, it gives me a reason to collect these cards or the Japanese cards.、Um, I, you know, I think it's, everyone knows this is a, originally a Japanese thing.、Uh, and I think it's, You know, these kind of products kind of give it, you know, some kind of like homage to that fact. Where,、um, to be honest, any, everything that's printed in US, I prioritize the, U, the US English printing over the Japanese one, like leaps and bounds. And these special promos are the only ones that kind of、uh, that make Japanese card collecting、uh, worthwhile for me at least.、Uh, so I feel like, and it's kind of fun just because it's relatively. Not as well known, some of these things、uh, compared to the English ones, obviously. And it kind of like, you know, I, I love the idea of like trying to like get them when before, before, you know, the hype goes up. It's kind of like a hipster thing almost. But, you know, I feel like that kind of happened. I, I feel like I managed to do that with these、uh, screen promos. And、uh, so I do have some other ones. This one, I, these I didn't like get in early or anything like that. But we have some of my favorite cards are Japanese exclusive promos. And I think the fact that they, 
if they were in English, like I wouldn't even bother with the Japanese one. Um, but yeah, we have the Pancho Pikachus, which are so cool. Oh, Mario Pikachu, one of my favorite collabs that ever happened in the Pokemon TCG. And this is, we actually do have one of the Battle Pikachus. So this one features Mega Gengar, Lucario, and actually we'll, we'll look at a better picture later. And I thought this was gonna happen for Ultra Shiny. So like, you know, I thought all these Charizards were gonna be something special, and I still think they will be, but the this is a perfect example of like the English set to me and I think to most people will just be like, oh, well, the English set is here, forget about the Japanese one. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I don't really want to say, you know, why, which one's better, but you know, this is just how it affects me as a collector. Uh, one thing I will say about the exclusive promos is that, and we'll see this uh, reflect on some like the prices that these things you would, uh, if you want to get one of these right now, is I'm not sure if it's just a supply thing, but um, I do think that the way they do the printings is very different than English sets. Um, and as a result, like supply and demand will cause some of the prices on the secondary market to uh, be very impressive. Let's just leave it at that. And, um, you know, and I I'm not even going to try to speculate what that, what is the mentality, whether or not the Pokemon, the company that's actually printing it, what cares about that? Uh, it's, it's always unclear to me. Like, I think it's good to have a secondary, a healthy secondary market, but at the same time, like, um, you know, does it really affect the company? Actually, no, it, it does. It must have a positive effect. But uh, let's go through some of the previous promos. So, yeah, I, I use the basis of they always have 60 HP. Uh, so, we have a promo 279 from XY. This one's really cool. You got all the starters here. Uh, all the base set stars with Pikachu and it looks like this was for the 20th anniversary and uh, yeah this is another one that was not printed in English and you know if it was I well I don't have this but I want it <laughs> but I wouldn't even think twice about it so um, again and uh, look or I just use Trollentool because it's super easy to find these uh, and one they don't have any in stock but uh, could be up to like $160 that's crazy uh, let's see, we got another one, neither Pikachu from Black and White. This one is unimpressive. The art is less cool. Uh, does that that 60 HP though? And um, this one's also not available on Trojan Toad, but maybe it's maybe like thirty, forty dollars. Uh, but then we have some of these other promos from XY, and uh, let's just take a quick look at some of these. Um, okay, so this is actually the one that I do have, and it's pretty cool. It features Mega Gengar. I do love the Sylveon back there, Lucario, <laughs> cute little Pancham back there. I, it seems to me that they're kind of random, but uh, I, I'm cool with that. This one you got a lot of stuff. You got Zorark Break. You got, is that a Mega Hoopa? You got a couple Mega Mewtwo's. And then for like the last one, this one I'm probably, honestly, I think I'm the least impressed with. You just got Pikachu with Lunala and Sogaleo, which is kind of cool, but to me, I'm not crazy about this art. Something about the when they draw a Pikachu like this, I prefer the uh, kind of like the regular way. And then as far as prices, uh, these ones, maybe these are more relevant, more recent ones. Uh, so you're not looking, not too bad. Um, but, uh, switch view one more time. So, yeah, that's the kind of like, you know, I do love the, I love the idea of collecting the exclusive stuff. Uh, and again, um, if it wasn't for these ex exclusive things, I wouldn't collect any Japanese cards. Even though I do open some, it's more of a sneak. I open Japanese cards for more for a sneak peek, less so from a collectability standpoint. And you know, I think that that says a lot. And I'm willing to bet I'm not the only one that does that. And uh, so uh, there's one more topic I want to hit, but definitely let me know in a comment what your thoughts are about these Japanese exclusives. Uh, I'm pretty sure in any form or anything, you'll just hear a lot of people like that. You know that think it's kind of stupid and I, I think they all have valid points uh, I just want to kind of point out uh, how it affects myself in not necessarily a negative way and so I do want to hit one more kind of Japanese exclusive product and that was um, maybe it was 20th anniversary I can't remember but it was a team rocket case and I, I'm not sure I didn't check what the MSRP is I just kind of checked what the what those cases might go for on the secondary market today. So let me just pull up one more view. And uh, so it looks something like this. Maybe I'll just open up this link. Let's see, yeah, so it came in this big box in a pretty 
um, legit case. It reminds me of a chip that might a case that might have poker chips in it, uh, but it also has like that uh, the foam in there. So this is very well protective. It looks like it just has like a card deck box, a rocket coin, and then two promos: a Here Comes Team Rocket and Giovanni's Exile. And those cards are so these are just alternate arts. And uh, so this one sold for eight hundred dollars. And these are sold listings on eBay. And there was one that was in July for five hundred dollars. That is absolutely insane to buy a product, a sealed product that has two promos in it, with a cool case, five hundred dollars. And the crazy thing that was an absolute steal. After that, you, you're already up in the thousand. There's that this one for eight hundred that was on auction, uh, and then after that, you're probably, these are probably like were sold in the thousands. If uh, let's take a look at if you wanted to buy one this second, you know how much would that cost? Thirteen, thirteen hundred, thirteen hundred, thirteen hundred. There is no buy it nows for under a thousand. Here's one for seven hundred and twenty-eight dollars shipped, and it's just the case. There's no cards in this thing. <laughs> this is totally insane. Um, so again, like I'm not sure. I actually I don't know how much this sold for on release. Uh, oh my gosh, to buy it now. I'm not sure why you would just buy the promos. Uh, I guess you can spend even more money on just the promos. Um, yeah, I'm not sure wh how much this thing costs on release, but clear like you know, I will. I do think that the Japanese exclusive like. Maybe again, maybe it's just the print run, how, how much supply they put out there. Uh, but as a result, it creates, you know, makes these things actual collectibles, not just, you know, in English, it's just like all the Zards or all the first edition base set. Uh, beyond that, like maybe for a lot of people, it's probably a good thing that, the, you know, none of the cards are too absurdly priced. Um, you know, nothing like this. But um, yeah, you know, it's super unique. Um, probably was super expensive but as a result you have a real collectible in my opinion um i don't know i probably won't ever have one that's 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 absurdly priced but i appreciate that it exists um so that's all i wanted to talk about on this topic um let me know in a, in a comment down below what your own thoughts are do you do you kind of see it entirely as a negative thing do you kind of sit in the middle ground kind of like with myself where you see see the both sides and appreciate um the fact that it exists to some degree or do you see this as exclusively a positive thing let me know down below and once again guys i want to thank everyone for helping us get to 500 subs everyone that is uh you know uh Part of this this wonderful community thank you to you all um, really happy to have crossed this milestone and be sure to enter that giveaway um, may I'll, I'll try to put a link down below for the video itself uh, so that's it for today guys as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time